Hi, right, welcome back everybody. It's Mike Newton down here at Latham Golf Academy. I've got a product head-to-head -head comparison video for you today. We've just seen the introduction of the new TaylorMade P790 iron. So what I'm wanting to do today is put it up against the previous P790. And just to see if there's any differences between the original model to the newer model. There's a couple of new uh, claims from TaylorMade with the new model with a 7% thinner club face, 15 percent more heavier tungsten so can we actually see that in a difference of the performance of the ball data through gc quad okay so we're going to start off with the original p790 iron so this was um it's been out for nearly two years now so really sort of ready for a, an update and a change and there's been some subtle little changes and the look of it I think when you put it down by the back and you'll see these from the pictures coming up on screen it doesn't look very dissimilar a little bit of different colouring a little bit more of a polished toe a bit more of a cosmetic uh, update in a way uh, but obviously internally there's a couple of new added features which will be interesting to look at so look at the original P790 to sit down by the golf ball this was obviously a very popular iron from TaylorMade uh, medium thick top line and a bit of offset there and I think this is the big difference we're going to see with the new one it's much more of a player's look it's a better looking club in my opinion um, it's just maybe looking back at it now there's quite a lot of offset with this p790 but let's get this first few hit with the original one yeah good so really sort of high flight very forgiving golf club we saw with the with the p790 you know, we've got that hollow construction, it's forged, we've got the injection of speed foam in there, which is a great word in its speed foam, but I think it just really is dampening sort of vibrations, how much actually speed it puts back through the face. Very tough one to measure, isn't it? But um, I think it does definitely helps with more of the acoustic, so there isn't that echoey sort of feel as you strike in the, the golf ball with that hollow head. Lovely high ball flight. So should be hitting the distance there. Yeah, that's good. So we saw, again, with P790, very forgiving iron. We've got that speed foam. We've got that uh, hollow construction of the head. We've got the speed slot in the, in the sort of bottom. Then we've got the tungsten in there, which helping with CG location and maybe trying to keep that MOI um, as high as sort of possible to make it, you know, in that sort of forgiving bracket in a way. But trying to pitch this more in that player's category, which is why it's got the P in front of it for the players. Little bit pushy on that one, but again, strikes pretty good. Yeah, just missed that green to the right. That was a bit of a rare one for me. That's a good strike. Good solid feel. Again, it's not. It's not that real forged feel and sound. I don't think when you get with this uh, one again, that hollow construction. I think it's difficult to really get that sort of buttery sort of acoustics in a way of that forged iron so it's always a little bit clicky i think with with the 790. it's a nice shot really nice shot all over it oh it's got a chance yeah lovely shot to finish on there so there's the original P790. So let's move into the new one and see if there's any advancements in that performance. Okay, so now we've got the new one in our hands. So as I say, a bit of a facelift here and, and for the better, I think it's nice with that polished sole section there. Just gives that a little bit more of a classier sort of look there. Still got that sort of brushed uh, satin finish, which again looks really quite nice. Um, big differences, as I mentioned, is the offset. There's, there's nowhere near, it's probably, I would say it's probably half as much offset um than the the old one so much more of a sleeker player's look uh, top edge is still fairly sort of medium thick top line we're still seeing that little bit of chunk there but much of a better shaping around that toe section it's just the lines the lines are much much more cleaner they're definitely more appealing to the better player definitely in my opinion a, a, a better looking golf club you know i think with that offset for me having a little bit of a left miss the offset just feels like i can do that a little bit more where this now i don't get that feel like i miss it as, as far left so much more much improvements on the shaping of the head okay let's get the first one here okay good strike there nice opening shot feels really good wasn't quite as clicky maybe as the 
original one. Again, the strike, we'll just change those acoustics a little bit, so we'll have a little look, or we'll keep a little eye on that, on that acoustics. If it's not quite as clicky, then that would be a good thing. Yeah, I get a lovely high ball flight. A little bit on that right edge of the green, but again, hitting the green lovely there. Um, so just going back to that acoustic, that's a little bit clicky. So I did sort of mention that in my review video, I thought it was a little bit clicky. It's not a traditional feel that you get through a forged head, similar like the original one, to be honest. So I think there's obviously limitations of how they can really get that acoustics um, into that very sort of forged head, I think, with that hollow construction. So we've still got the speed foam in there, as we've seen in the original one. Uh, we've still got the speed slot in the bottom for helping those low in the club face strikes. Difference is what Taylor made is saying is a 7% thinner club face, so you possibly expect to see more ball speed. That's one I'm going to be really interested in seeing that ball speed. Um, and obviously then is 15% heavier tungsten weighted in that back section. So much more tungsten or slightly heavier tungsten so they can pull that CG lower in that club head again, helping with that launch and spin numbers. But I think the looks of it is so much better. Nice shot, nice flight. Yeah, looks to be doing similar sort of distance there as the couple ones that might have just gone a little bit further, but I can't expect there's going to be a massive jump on distance here. 7% thin on the face, we know strike can play a part of it. Is there going to be that bigger jump on distance? I don't think there will be. That's a nice shot. just inspires me to I think hit a better shot with this because again that offset plays a big factor to me I don't like to see a lot of offset and I think a lot of golfers probably when they get into a maybe this sort of category here I mean you're probably going to be sort of a, a low to sort of mid handicap who might be putting sort of these in the bag so those types of players tend to not want to see a lot of offset on there so I think that's a very good improvement from TaylorMade to get rid of some of that offset. Just drawing off a tiny bit, is it, fractionally? Not a lot. That's gone a bit further. That was a good strike there. That seems to just give me a little bit more carry to that back edge of that green. Okay, so there we go. There's five shots hit with a new P790. Really interested to see any differences here, if there is anything. So let's go and look at some numbers in a little bit more detail and see what are the differences, if there is any. Okay, so looking at the numbers there, so we've got the original on the top and the red and the new one on the blue and the bottom. First thing I'm gonna look at is club head speed. Um, so the original we averaged at 91.4 and it was actually 89.9, didn't feel slower but fractionally slower, probably one and a half mile an hour slower with the new one, the shaft's exactly the same, the length is exactly the same, flex is exactly the same, uh, just basically the head was different there so um, I say it didn't feel like it was slower but it was a fraction slower there on an average. So take that into account because obviously club head speed to get exactly the same is tough. Um, but let's look at the ball speed, so you see 123.6 to 126, so a good, that's a good improvement, isn't it? You know, I've, I've dropped one and a half mile an hour in club head speed, yet I've gained nearly three mile an hour in ball speed, so that's a good one. So even though I've swung it slower, I've gained speed. So possibly that face is doing something there. We know strike will also play a little bit of a part of that, won't it? Um, so launching pretty much identical there. Spin number's a little bit lower with the, with the new one. Um, just short of 5,500, where we are sort of 58 with the um, the original one. Again, the strikes will just slightly change that. I've got a couple of higher higher spinning ones on those. Uh, but again, I'm going to look at it as an average, so a little bit lower spinning. So we know we're going to get a few more yards because it's just slightly lower spinning with the extra ball speed there. So you can see 176 carry to 182 carry. Let's just have a look at the front to back uh, dispersions there. So you've got like a 167 drop off to a 181 good hit. Okay and then with the new one we've got a 177 drop off to a 187. So a little bit tighter on that front to back dispersion with the newer one in comparison to the old one in this particular test. 
Okay guys, so there we go. There's a new P790 against the original P790 there. So again, looking at the two clubs there, not a huge difference of looks, a little bit more of a cosmetic and probably a little bit of a better looking, a bit more of a classy looking club, I would maybe sort of say. Um, obviously we've got some differences that, that um, club face, 7%, 7% thinner, a little bit more tungsten there, heavier tungsten. And possibly seeing that differences there, you know, that was quite interesting when it 1.5 slow and a club head speed, yet again, three mile an hour in ball speed. So possibly but that phase is doing something there. Again, we know strike will play a part of that, won't it? But they felt comparable strikes, to be honest. So good little jump on uh, on distance there. Just that spin just dropped a tiny bit, which, which we obviously don't want to get that going too low in a way. But typically a loft of around that 30 degrees for 7.9, you're always going to see that spin around that 5.5 to probably just under 6,000 spin number, aren't you, really, with that particular loft. We know it's going to influence that. Um, so, yeah. Question is, if you've got P790 originals now, would you upgrade to the new one? You'd have to go around and test that yourself. If you saw an improvement maybe like that they possibly you would do. Um, and said that, you've still got a great iron in the original one, haven't you? But I think the looks is the biggest change between those two clubs. I love the, the improvement of the look with the new one against the old one, but that's, that's obviously my opinion, my preference. Let me know your thoughts between these two P790s. Um, comment in the section down below as I always love, love to hear your thoughts okay thanks very much for watching appreciate watching as always if you haven't subscribed and you join the content point out there please just hit that subscribe button very much appreciate it love the support you guys are giving me on here the comments are fantastic in the comment section I'll try and reply to as many as I can so just hit that subscribe button if you can ring the notification bell so then you will not miss a video going forward and hopefully we'll catch up with you all very soon